Well, what a gorgeous day we've had, especially with the wind starting to lighten as we've got into the evening hours. Look at the flag there, not moving an inch right now, so super calm outside. Although since we have the clearest skies, temperatures dropping, we're at 47 right now. Look at the wind out of the north, five miles per hour. So earlier it was really windy outside. We have this area of high pressure centered right below us and still that very strong area of low pressure centered off to our east now that's pushing its way out into the Atlantic. So we had those strong winds earlier and there's those clouds hanging out west. They're going to try to make their way in during the overnight hours and into tomorrow. But the winds are going to stay calm and we'll have those clear skies. Here's our temperatures. Area wide in the upper 40s, Plattsmouth though is at 50 degrees, Fall City, Maryville at 51, everyone else sitting in the mid to upper 40s right now, but we'll all be on the way to those colder temperatures as we get towards tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a chilly start. Another day, you want the jacket as you're early in the morning, you get later in the day, temperatures elevate. So you're going to start off 29 degrees, but look at where we end tomorrow, or at least peak heating, 64 degrees around 3, 4, 5 o'clock outside, so we might get up into the mid 60s. That'll feel comfortable, but that strong wind, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. But look at that system off to the east. It's a big area of low pressure that's been spinning there for a while. But now we're going to look back out west. Saturday, this is noon. You can see that area of low pressure start to build. It shifts eastward. Widespread rain for us as we get closer to Saturday night. This is close to midnight. Maybe a couple rumbles of thunder in there, but we'll kind of create this secondary area of low pressure as it occludes off. So that's going to spin over us a little bit longer. That's why we're anticipating for some rain in uh, early to late Sunday. That's Sunday at 1.30. It'll scoot off to the east, though, but by the time we get to Monday, that's 1 a.m. You can see some clouds hanging around, but it doesn't look like much rain there. And there's that's close to eclipse time right there. This model is forecasting us to have some clouds, but the further that low pressure system gets off to the east, hopefully that'll alleviate some of that cloud cover. And in terms of any severe weather, Storm Prediction Center is saying a marginal risk. That is one out of five. So maybe some hail if it really gets going, but the dew points look low. Storm looks to be high based, which isn't good for producing any kinds of severe weather. So that's good news for us. The severe threat is very low with these storms as of right now. 65 to start the weekend on Saturday. Impact icon in for the showers that will occur at night. Sunday, 62 degrees for a high temperature. Still going to be cloudy outside. And clouds really stick around for the majority of the forecast, but the good news is definitely those high temperatures. We've been in the 50s for a while, but now it looks like 60s for the next seven days out.